and tales for dark nights. The following performance is a first round entry in the Evil Idol competition, in which the winner of the contest will become a permanent member of the Chilling Tales for Dark Nights voice acting team. Listen to the entire performance, and if you'd like to see this particular contestant advance to the second round, which begins August 1st, simply click the thumbs up icon to vote in their favor. If you don't care for the performance, click the thumbs down icon instead. Thanks for listening and for participating, and good luck to all of our first round contestants. Ditsy. Written by D.G. Collins. Performed by Cameron Life for Chilling Tales for Dark Nights and the Evil Idol Competition. Well, it's official, said Mark. We're in a horror movie. Hmm? murmured Jennifer. Just look around. We're a young couple on a date. My car's stalled on our backwoods road and it's soaring like crazy. There's even a creepy house over there just waiting for us to come knocking. Scary, huh? Jennifer ignored him. She was looking up through the rain spattered windshield. Why do people do that? She said, I've always wondered. Mark said, he was trying to have some fun here, but Jennifer kept getting distracted by little things. He was starting to think she was truly a ditz. Do what? He asked. Up there, hanging off the telephone wires. The shoe? Uh-huh. Why do people toss shoes? What's the point? Who knows? Mark shrugged. Maybe they're bored. I'm worried about getting out of this horror movie. Well, then, we shouldn't. Shouldn't what? Go to the creepy house. If we're in a horror movie, that's just asking for trouble. Mark grinned. <laughs> for a ditzy girl, you're pretty smart. But hey, if we're spending the night in the car, we'll need to keep warm. He waggled his eyebrows. Jennifer went on as if she hadn't heard him. Of course, she mused, if this is a horror movie, it won't matter what we do. Leave and we're some monster, stay and it'll come find us. They've got to put the horror in horror movies somehow. Right, Mark agreed. We'd better discuss our options carefully. Maybe some place more comfortable, like the back seat. The wind picked up, making the car rock slightly as Jennifer shook her head. <sighs> That's dumb. Everyone knows you shouldn't fool around when you're in a... There was a loud thump, and they both jerked back. After a few moments of startled silence, Jennifer leaned forward. But the shoe, it fell on the hood. Damn, said Mark. That scared the hell out of me. Jennifer frowned, still squinting at the shoe. I think there's something inside the... She was interrupted again, this time by the car itself as it suddenly bucked upward and came bouncing down. Something heavy had landed on the trunk. God damn it! Mark yelled, turning to look at the dark shade behind them. Someone jumped on my car! Mark, don't go, there's something in the... But he was already charging outside, cursing about dents and insurance. He rounded the rear, then Jennifer heard him scream. Until the scream was cut off by a loud, sickening snap. The dark shape roared triumphantly. Jennifer moved. Sliding into the driver's seat, she turned the key and the engine started immediately. She knew it would, because she knew Mark had been faking that the car had stalled. She was good at noticing little things like that, like the shoe, and the thing inside the shoe. Maybe bored people really did toss their shoes over telephone wires, but she doubted they left their foot inside when they did. Did see my ass, Jennifer said as she sped away. Thanks for listening. If you haven't already, don't forget to cast your vote for this contestant via a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thanks for voting and for spreading the word about Chilling Tales for Dark Nights and our first ever Evil Idol competition. Tune in August 1st, 2016 for the start of round two. Chilling Tales for Dark Nights.